one, two, two more here with the Y, bringing you tools to feel well in your body, mind, and spirit. So as the weather gets nicer outside, a lot of us are choosing to walk or to run a little bit more than we're used to. And I think that we can often start to feel that tightness if we don't stretch or if we don't use the correct muscles when we engage in those activities. So today we're gonna to be doing a little bit of glute work and um, hip opening and stretching so that the next time you take your walk and run, you'll feel a little bit more comfortable, more loose and more uh, able to feel those correct muscles working. So all you'll need today is a mat and I'll join you down on the mat. We're gonna warm up a little bit before we get into some glute work. So let's go ahead and lay down, feet flat on the mat, about hip distance apart here. And let's start by taking a little pelvic curl. So if you're not sure what that is or you haven't joined us here before, all we're going to do is we're going to feel both sides of the pelvis flat on the mat here. And then we're going to lengthen out through that tailbone before slightly curling that tailbone and pelvis as if your tailbone was going to reach up towards the back of your knees. And then you're going to let everything just settle back down. So just a little curl here. Just as a way to check in with your body, see how that lower lumbar spine is moving. And we'll take one more here. Lengthening through that tailbone, curling that tailbone and sit bones as if they were going to slide up to reach the back of the knees. setting everything back down and then just to open up the hips here you're going to flex one foot we'll start with the left foot here and letting that femur that leg bone just settle into the back of the hip socket here we're just going to open that leg out as if you're taking a clamshell here and then letting it come back in and we'll take this a couple times just allowing that hip to open up allowing that space to get into and feel into the range of motion that feels comfortable today. And as you drag that back, really letting that glute help you. So letting that leg bone rest heavy into the back of the hip socket. And of course, as you open this leg out into your clamshell, making sure both sides of that pelvis stay stable and equally weighted on the mat. So you can rest that foot back down and we'll take that now to the other side. And you might notice that one side has a little bit different range of motion than the other, which is pretty normal. The two sides of the body will not be the same. And so we'll take this a couple more times here on this side, as always listening to your body and seeing what feels good for you in this moment. How slow to go, how fast, and you can always pause this video to give yourself more time for each movement, if that's what feels good for you today. And so one more thing we'll do before we get into that a little bit more of the glute activation, we're going to take a figure four stretch here, which we might finish with as well. But just, again, opening those hips, feeling into how that lower back feels. And while you're down here lying down, feeling how it feels for your spine to be flat on the mat. So in just a moment, we're gonna be on all fours here. Let's go ahead and switch to the other side of this figure four stretch. And so we're gonna to wanna to have a flat spine. And so letting your spine just memorize how it feels to have this 
flat neutral spine lying down on the mat. And we'll recreate that in just a minute on all fours. Okay. So let's go ahead and flip over onto all fours here. So you're gonna have your hands about shoulder distance apart. Knees are gonna be hip distance apart here. And starting on one side, you're going to, again, just let your spine feel into that neutral feeling, just as though you were lying down on the mat. So a good way to keep this in mind is almost like you were gonna breathe right between the shoulder blades. So breathing out into that space and also keeping your throat behind your heart is a good way to sort of keep that neutral spine here. So let's start on the right side. We're just gonna flex the foot, keeping that neutral spine, neutral pelvis, we're just going to lift and lower. So part of the challenge is to keep that alignment and that posture as we move that leg. So it'll probably be really easy for you to wobble around as you move that leg, but see if you can avoid all of that, keeping that posture and that alignment as you move the leg. So now you can rest that back down and we're gonna take that out to the side. So if you lost it, find your posture again, breathing between those shoulder blades and throat behind the heart. And we're gonna take this out to the side. So I'm doing about seven reps per side, but doing whatever feels comfortable for you. Really letting that back of the butt initiate the movement for you. Resting that back down. So we'll do one more thing on this side. We're gonna lift that leg up and we're just gonna pulse. resting back down. So before we take it to the other side, let's just take this back into a child's pose. And then we'll take that over to the other side. So we'll start by finding your posture, flexing that left foot, bringing it up, and back down. So you'll notice that one side is harder than the other, just as with your right or left side, one is dominant. So you'll notice that it's different, a different experience from each side, and that's normal. So taking it as slow as you need to in order to keep your posture. Resting back down. So again, I'm doing about seven on each side, but you can take your time, go at your own pace, and do however many reps feels good for you. So now we're gonna open this out to the side. So again, refining that posture if you lost it. And then just opening that leg out to the side. Keeping that pelvis stable and keeping that alignment, remembering to breathe. Resting back down. And then the last one, we're gonna take that leg back up and pulse. And resting back down, we'll take this into a child's pose. And 
then coming on back up, we'll take that figure four stretch one more time. Just to stretch out anything that felt a little tight when we were on all fours here. And if it feels good, just to rock that from side to side. Really feeling into what feels good for your body today in this moment. And then we'll switch sides. Resting back down here. So we're going to finish just by taking that pelvic curl again. So finding your feet flat on the mat, hip distance apart. And then just starting to lengthen that tailbone, curling the tailbone and the sit bones up towards the back of the knees. And then letting that come back down onto the mat. And just feeling into how that feels compared to when we did it at the beginning. And then resting back down. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to tune back in tomorrow with more videos from the Y, helping you feel well in your body, mind, and spirit.